What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pi Top 4. Now ever since the Raspberry Pi 4 was announced, this has been in development and I've been really wanting to get my hands on it. It kind of fell off my radar until recently and I actually reached out to the Pi Top company to send one over for review. So here it is. Pi Top has been around for a while making different products for the Raspberry Pi or that incorporate the Raspberry Pi and the Pi Top 4 is no different. It might just look like a simple Raspberry Pi case, but there's actually a lot of tech built into the Pi Top 4. And along with the Pi Top, I also received the Foundation Kit, which is actually really awesome. It contains these little sensor pods, as they're called, and it allows you to easily attach LEDs, sensors, and buttons, and you can code from the Pi Top 4 to get all of this up and working. And we'll also be taking a look at this, but it comes with one foundation plate, which allows you to easily attach all of these sensor pods to the Pi Top 4. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out of the box. This is powered by the Raspberry Pi 4. Comes with a four gigabyte model installed in this awesome little case here. And like I mentioned, it's not just a case. We have an OLED up top. It's got a built-in battery, has a built-in cooling system with a centrifugal fan. And from this OLED up top, we can take a look at what's going on with the Raspberry Pi without even having to look at a screen connected over HDMI. And we also have this connector on the bottom, which allows us to interface with the foundation plate and the sensor pods. Personally, I think this is an awesome little setup, and we'll get back to this in a second, but I do want to go over the accessories that come with the Pi Top 4. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit of documentation here. Really, it's telling you to go over to the Pi Top website to find out more. We also get these two connectors, USB Type-C to full-size USB and USB Type-C to full-size HDMI. There is a proprietary port on the side, and we'll look at that in a second, but it's really there to connect to the Pi Top screen, which is sold separately. It just uses USB Type-C out, and it will also power that monitor. We also have a little baggie here with some hardware, mainly GPIO extensions. We got a screwdriver, and that looks about it. I think there's a couple of replacement parts in here also. And finally, the charging brick itself. This will power the Pi Top 4 from wall power if you want to use it that way, and it also charges the internal battery. So I do have to say, I really like the look here. I love the color scheme they went with. Overall, everything's really nicely packaged here. We can easily access the micro SD card from this side, and we also have some status LEDs. Plus, we do have a built-in 2-watt speaker here. Up top, we have that OLED display that'll give us some information while the Pi is running. There's also four buttons to navigate that interface. But over on this side is where all the magic happens. As you can see, we have a USB Type-C charger and power port, the Pi Top Display Port, which is a proprietary port that allows you to connect this to the Pi Top Display, which is sold separately. But this unit here will throw video out and power to that display. But just keep in mind, they also include an adapter that allows you to turn this into a strictly HDMI out port. There's also a micro HDMI port, one USB 2.0 port, two USB 3.0 ports, and gigabit ethernet. They've also included a 3.5mm audio jack, and we have a safe power and reset button with an LED indicator to let you know the status. So real quick, I did want to take a look at this OLED display. I'm going to go ahead and power this on. You'll just hold the power button for around two seconds. It'll start booting the Raspberry Pi up. And once it's booted, it'll let you know by giving you the Pi Top logo. And we can actually access a few features from this screen here. So we can check out the battery percentage. We can also check the status of the USB the Ethernet, and the Wi-Fi. And along with the Wi-Fi, it'll give us our IP address. Plus, they've included a CPU usage widget, so we can check out all four cores here. If we press the little circle button, it'll go to our settings. We'll just tap it twice. We can enable terminal from here, VNC viewer, and I believe we have access to refreshing our HDMI ports in case you want to swap out from one to the other. As you saw, I also received the foundation kit. This is the foundation plate. It's got all the ports here that we need to connect our sensor pods up, and this snaps right onto the bottom of the Pi Top 4. It's actually pretty easy to do. And there we have it. We now have access to all of the ports we need for these little sensor pods, and it comes with wire for each. And personally, I really like the idea of these sensor pods. They're really easy to use, and there's no mess of wires. I mean, it has one connector for each, and usually if you buy a kit like this on, let's say, Amazon for 30 bucks, it comes with 100 sensors, but there's also 50 miles of wire. For kids and adults alike starting out for coding, I think this is a really awesome little option here. They've just made it so simple to just plug these right into your Pi Top 4 and get started. And speaking of getting started, it's super simple to do. 
I'm just using their proprietary port here over to a portable monitor with an HDMI adapter on the end. Just go ahead and hold that button for around two seconds. It's going to start up. This does come preloaded with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card and PyTop OS, which is based on Raspbian. And I'm a big fan of this. I've been a big fan of PyTop since the Raspberry Pi 2. I've actually done a review on a few different PyTop products like the PyTop Seed, which was for the Raspberry Pi 3 and 3B+. Now, since this is powered by a 4 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4, we have 4 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM, 4 cores at 1.5 gigahertz, and you could overclock because this does have a heatsink and fan built in, but it will kill the battery a lot faster. Okay, so I've just connected this to my game capture to make it a little easier to look at. This is PyTop OS running on the PyTop 4. Very reminiscent of a lot of different other operating systems that are out there, and it's very easy to get used to. Down at the bottom here, we have our menu bar, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. We also have access to our apps. Under programming, we have Code Lite, Genie, MU. This is a simple Python editor, and I would recommend using something like this if you're messing around with any kind of coding for the first time, especially with the Foundation Kit. And we'll take a look at that in a second. We have Scratch 2, Scratch 3, Sonic Pi. You can code music right here. This is actually included with Raspbian, otherwise known as Raspberry Pi OS. Education. PyTop Future, this is going to open up the PyTop website, and from here we can actually search for different things we'd like to do with the PyTop 4. Now since I have that foundation kit going, I'm going to search for Buzzer. This is going to give us a quick walkthrough on how to set up the Buzzer and write a Python code to make it work in any different way you'd like. It's very easy to read through, as you can see, connections. This can be plugged into any of the ports marked D on the foundation plate, and as you can see we have eight of them. We scroll down a little more, it's just going to give you some information and an example code. We also have an example code too. Most of these come with two or three different example codes. This is the PMA buzzer on and off Python script. I'm actually going to go with example number two. I can download it from here or you can go ahead and copy it out if you'd like to. I'm going to keep. We'll just open that up. And it's going to open up the easy Python editor. We could actually run this like it sits, or we can change some parameters in here. So while this is true, when I hit run, the buzzer's going to turn on. It's going to print buzz. The buzzer's going to buzz for about a second. It's going to sleep for a second. It means it's off. Then it's going to buzz again. So if I hit this, I do have it plugged in. Nothing's actually happening because right here, it's saying D2. I need to swap this out to D1 because that's the port that I have this plugged into. So if I go to D1 and now press run, and I hope you guys can hear that. I'm pretty sure you can. We'll go ahead and stop it. Now, even though we just downloaded that Python code, for a lot of people who are starting out, this just makes it so much easier to get acquainted with it. As you can see, it wasn't working at first. We had to change that port to D1. We can also change the duration of the sleep or the buzz itself. And this is gonna be a great learning tool for my kids and even myself. This is something I'll definitely be using at our local boys and girls club. Once a month, when we were open, now that we have everything going on, everything's closed down right now, I would come in and do a little bit of coding with the kids. I can bring this in with the foundation kit, and they're going to love this. I mean, it is so easy to set up, and it's actually really, really fun. So obviously, they put a big emphasis on education when it comes to PyTop or the PyTop 4, but that doesn't mean we can't get some work done or have some fun with this. Along with the PyTop OS, we do have the full LibreOffice suite built in. Chromium web browser, VNC viewer so I can access my Mac, Windows, or my Linux PC from my Raspberry Pi. I've also installed the media edition of Chromium, which allows me to watch Netflix and Disney Plus on something like this. Under sound and video, VLC media player. You can play back from an external USB drive or you can download your videos and movies directly to the SD card from Chromium. We also have GIMP, which is one of my favorite image editors of all time. This is an open source image editor works great on the Raspberry Pi, and if you want to do some light image editing right on the Pi, just use this application. Basically, it's free Photoshop. From games, Minecraft Pi is pre-installed, and I've also installed the Code the Classics from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, and Open Arena, which is basically Quake 3 Arena. It's a freeware version of it. System Tools, check for updates. This is something I actually like about this. PyTop OS has a software updater pre-installed, so you don't have to go through Terminal if you don't want to. It'll just check right here. 
It's going to check for updates and it'll probably say that I'm fully updated because I've already done this. Along with system tools, we have a few things in here that do come in handy. We have a simple task manager and we have HTOP. I'll go with the simple task manager. As you can see, my CPU is sitting at about 9% and we have four gigs of RAM with only 439 megabytes being used right now. We also have some accessories that come pre-installed like this, like copying your SD card if you wanna make a backup. We have help, Debian references. If you need any help with PyTop, you can go here. It's just gonna open up a Chromium web browser and bring us to the help section. But overall, I mean, it's a full-fledged operating system. And in my opinion, it works really, really well on the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Pi Top 4. Now, before I wrap this up, I did want to kind of at least pull one of the halves of the tops off of this thing just to see what we got inside of here. I got a good idea of how it's set up. They do have kind of an exploded view on their website. But I still wanted to take a look. And, uh, I mean, this thing is put together really nicely. We have that Raspberry Pi 4 there. They have this proprietary hat that actually interfaces with the OLED. We also have a heatsink on the CPU along with a centrifugal fan. And as you can see here, one of the reasons it's missing an external USB 2.0 port is because it's interfacing here. And I guess it's pulling data or allowing data to be pushed to the Pi. So in the end, I gotta say, I really do like the Pi Top 4. We have built-in battery, built-in speaker. We have that Raspberry Pi 4, four gigs of RAM, quad core at 1.5 gigahertz. Overall, this is an awesome little computing machine. When I first heard about the development of the Pi Top 4, I was actually a little worried that it was just gonna be a Raspberry Pi 4 in a case, but that's far from the truth. This is actually a really awesome education tool, and I wish these were around when I was younger. And if I was a teacher right now, I would definitely be trying to get some of these in my classroom for my students. But that's it for this one. I really appreciate you watching. I will leave some links in the description. If there's anything else you want to see running on the Pi Top 4, just let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.